In one of the recent reptilian interviews, uh, they're walking the history of imagination, how imagination came to evolve, uh, even before the creation of the human race. Uh, but the specific point mentioned within the interviews is the dimension of imagining yourself to be more than what you in fact are. Meaning that what was pointed out is how we so often, despite reality evidence proving the contrary, we make ourselves believe in our minds and imagination uh, we are a certain way or in a certain state of being or possess a certain characteristic or trait. Or let's have a look at this more specifically. It's like... What is not seen, realized, and understood about the mind is that it's exceptionally skilled when it comes to being able to clone and create an impression of reality. Uh, like, for example, where one in a moment imagine yourself to be really outgoing, surrounded by lots of people and friends, uh, in conflict situations being really stable, when in reality, you're, for example, shy, uh, become anxious and fearful when around people, uh, physically react in anxiety or anger when in conflict situations. I mean, even though you may be able to see or imagine yourself differently, when it comes to reality and one meet oneself in reality, one is not in fact what one imagined oneself to be. Yet, often, despite this evidence, people still believe their imaginations more than what reality prove. Uh, an example used in the interviews is where one in one's mind believe oneself to be stable, like absolutely existing in the statement of I am stable. Yet, when self-honestly reviewed within and as reality, there are multiple instances one is confronted with or challenged with, uh, you know, even within one's own mind, uh, where one still react or are moved, and so are not in fact yet the living statement of and as I am stable. The self-honest statement would be where you are, for example, stable when it comes to talking with one particular person. You know, then one can say... I am stable when and as I communicate with this particular person and I am still in the process of becoming stable in and as all other areas of my life. I mean, that's more a direct, real reality statement of who you are and the process that you are physically, practically walking in reality. You know, rather than the absolute statement of I am stable when reality is showing you're not. So another interesting point within this uh, that is mentioned is that, you know, one can, especially when alone with yourself, imagine oneself to be all sorts of things such as self-realized and enlightened and aware and godly, you know, very easy to do that in specific environments or groups, uh, but place such a same individual in a conflict or actual life challenge or completely different relationships, and the mind goes haywire or out of control. Because the imagination idea of oneself was kept in place by oneself in a particular environment or with specific people. So I would really suggest to invest in the interviews walked uh, that I will list in the description box below to assist and support self to understand the difference between imagination and reality, especially when it comes to who you are. You know, so that one do not create a split between two worlds and have reality consequence accumulate until you wake up from your imagination and idea of yourself and see or face the reality of you. 
I mean, one cannot hide from reality. It'll always be here. And eventually, reality will accumulate to the point where the energy in the mind cannot stand the force of physicality. And so will face yourself anyway. So lastly, to consider the following point. How can we ever really, in fact, change? If we cannot even face the reality of who or what we, in fact, are now... Uh, with really being self-honest with ourselves. I mean, we can't change if we keep on trying to imagine ourselves to be more than what we in fact are. We have to change ourselves from what we are now in and as reality, you know, in and as our actual real living. Um, otherwise, we're always just going to you know, imagine ourselves differently and not realize that to actually change, we have to face and directly confront and uh, see who and what and how we are right now. And from this point, walk our change for real within ourselves and our living. Thank you very much.